Welcome to Turning Inward. Our intention today is to open your heart and nurture your spirit as you travel on the road without miles, moving inward on your epic and personal journey of self-discovery. I am Rebecca Polvey, your co-host, and I'm here with Dr. Vivian Carrasco. This is the first episode of our spring 2015 season. We are excited to continue to share concepts from Love Being Human with you and grateful that you are here with us. Today, we'll be exploring the concept of transform together. This podcast offers you the opportunity to explore new perspectives through compelling interviews with beautiful human beings and words of wisdom and love. The show was created to guide and inspire you. If you're looking for more meaning in your day-to-day life, if you're looking to be wowed by everyday people, if you're on a journey to joy, peace of mind, freedom, or a wild new adventure, then honey, you are in the right place. Welcome to Turning Inward with Dr. Vivian. Transformation. Hi, Rebecca. Hello, Vivian. Yes, <laughs> transformation. This should be exciting. I am excited about it. I've been yeah. anticipating it, so I'm really yeah. excited. Yeah, me too. And it was so appropriate that you picked that for our spring, our first episode for spring. I don't know how we picked that. I think it all happens by magic. I'm not going to take credit for it. Okay, but I mean, really, that was what I thought of first episode of I know. I can't wait. I see some of the greenery sort of peeking out mm-hmm. as the snow is melting. So I'm I'm so ready for spring. Oh, we're not there yet, but that's okay. Because oh, gone- you're in Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm in Texas. <laughs> I know. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that's okay, Vivian. I'm heading to Florida. I know. I- I'm so happy for you. I know. It'll be green there. I know it. I'm It'll excited. be more than green. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Exciting. Oh. Well, um, I have got, um, I think, just three questions for you today. And I'll start with the first one. And um, I guess... When I started thinking about transformation, um, I think of the word transform or transformation as to open up or awaken, to have the courage to move in a different direction. And I think we could all agree that maybe unguided transformation can go in either direction. And so I'm wondering, how can love being human guide us to have critical thinking and not fall into like a group think, to actually critically think about things? Well, love being human doesn't do doesn't do it for us. I think one of the things that's different about this framework or that this system is that it really puts the learner in charge. You know, this is these are these are really simple, not easy, but really simple principles that we integrate into our daily lives. So if I were to say how would it help you move away from group think or from something that maybe you've been socialized to believe and is is to very basically just question it. Question that thought or question that idea and then tune into the technology that you have. And that's not your internet. That's not your Googler. You know, that is, you, you know, where love being human and its foundation begins and that's in your body. You know, what is it that your body is saying how does how does that feel you know translating the language of our feelings and our wants and our desires is a life long job you know it's it's the work of our lives um i think so often we get distracted uh on the outside and so love being human helps you turn inward you know that's why we have the podcast called turning inward <laughs> it helps you to turn inward and to start to translate those signals into the messages um through your stillness okay so uh, i think maybe just for continuing the conversation or expanding on what i think i'm hearing you say um so if, if something doesn't maybe comply with your say your um your your inner voice and and it's causing you some climb some some kind of conflict maybe you can say your that's your alarm going you off and telling you to maybe rethink or reevaluate or to i think previously i heard you mention something about seeing through the cloud 
So that's what, did I grasp what you were saying, Vivian, kind of? Yeah, definitely. Oh, you know, the, 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 everyone has a right to their highest potential. And that is the basic premise of this. And we are moving towards expressions of love. That is going to look different for every individual on this planet. You know, there's a billion different variations of that. And, you know, there's no hubris here that, that, that we are the teachers sharing the knowledge that, that is, I don't know, you know, ivory tower kind of stuff. This is, this is a co-learning and a co-creating. Uh, I'm as much of a student in this practice. I'll tell you that much. I, I study it. And this is a cute little segue, but I, I, David hasn't listened to all of our episodes. And I, and I asked him, I said, why haven't you listened? And he said, I don't have to. I live it. And that, <laughs> <laughs> you know, in one hand, that could have been a sort of cop out. <laughs> but I really see it for what it is. And, and for me, it, it gave me a sense of peace. Because I think for so many people that are doing work in the world, they feel like there are one thing, and I feel like this all the time, they feel like there are one thing in one setting and another in a different setting. And and over the last, you know, specifically in the last year, um, as, as I've done the work to uncover love being human, I have felt more whole than I have ever felt in my entire life. I have felt more connected than I have ever experienced you know, other than when I was a little kid, you know, running around barefoot um, with my hair in my eyes. But but I feel I feel good. I feel right. And that has a lot, a lot to do with the integration of these practices in my daily living. You know, and what we talk about, you know, in front of the microphone into what I do all day long. Um, I really have been learning a lot um, through this process. I've just so enjoyed everything. And it's interesting as I'm researching um, the words when you tell me what we're going to talk about the topic, that it's really, really been great for me to go through this process. So and when I'm planning and thinking about it, I, I guess this takes me to question number two, which um, alter is a word that popped into my head when I was thinking about transform and perhaps deciding to alter a path that one might have selected and move into a different direction. So my question, Vivian, is how can love being human be used as a tool in altering or transforming a path or direction we have selected or perhaps fallen into in our lives? The easy answer to that is self-awareness. A love being human is a tool to become more aware of where you're going and what you're doing. And so it's really a reversal of understanding. Uh, if, if you look at the experience, I, I love to th talk about the ocean. And so if you think about the wave, the way that the wave goes in and then comes back out, and even the, the icon or the logo for turning inward, it's the seashell. So it, it, if you, it looks, this is a natural, this is our natural, state we can't always we will never always go in the quote unquote right direction but we will sway back and forth and it's like a dance you know life is our partner and we dance we take two steps forward and one step back and there's no need to sort of whip ourselves and and be mean to ourselves and criticize ourselves and be so overly critical when it's a natural movement and, and like the seashell, you move out and then you turn in and you move out and you turn in. So for me, love being human gives you the framework to reflect on your action, to reflect on your uh, day, reflect on your, you know, life, on your year, whatever it is, and to see it from, from where you are, not as who you're being, but who you're becoming. So in this space right now, we are one person. We are an image and an idea of what people think we are or, but we will never be done. You know, it's not like dinner. You prep the, you, I don't know why I use the analogy of food when you know I'm not great in the kitchen, but, <laughs> but, but it's, but <laughs> we're not dinner. You know, it's like the laundry. It's never done. Oh, you chase it, you know, 
you you know i have one day that i do laundry and that's it the rest of the time it doesn't matter if there's 10 or 20 or five loads to do it happens on this one day because it's never done um you know but that's that's what i would say it's it's a it's a reversal of direction from an experience to understanding an experience to understanding an experience to understanding that leads us to our own self-awareness and that's a circle it's a it's maybe a you know it's that turning inward that that continuous evolution of being to become and become and become and become Oh, Vivian, that's beautiful. And I love how you actually, now that analogy of the laundry is going to be stuck in my head. (laughs) (laughs) Especially after your trip. (laughs) Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I never thought of it that way until you said that. But, you know, the laundry is a never ending and I never think about it. I just know it's there and that it's going to happen and it doesn't trouble me. So I love the laundry thing. That's great. I'm so good. Well, you know, (laughs) we have the ability to create from within ourselves. And that's, that's really what this is about. That's what love being human is about is, you know, you, you, you stabilize or you center yourself in your presence of your body and then you move towards an experience. And that experience is any form, any, any kind of expression of love. You know, whatever love, best loving action is right in front of you, that's what's right and what's true. Well, um, you know, um, Something else is, uh, some, I don't remember who said this to me, but or I heard it or read it somewhere, and it says, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And I'm not sure where that came from, but to me it's very powerful because if you're transforming or rethinking, I think it's always best practice to just listen to your inner voice. That guides you in the right direction. I mean, it feels like we have so many distractions in life that really can push us off the path. And um, maybe we can be caught into behavior that might not match that inner voice. And all the noise around us can send us maybe in a negative direction. So, or not paying attention on some level. So Vivian, my question is, how do you make sure um, you are transforming in the right direction that matches those core beliefs or that inner voice? Well, I think first and foremost, you, you, we are assuming that we've questioned the belief and that we know that it is real and true. So the next step is to know if you're right. And <laughs> that that's never going to happen. That is something that we have to sort of loosely let go of and instead hold what is possible. You know, this brings me to the conversation that, that we had with the, with the um, alchemy circle, with the small coaching group and the, and the idea of epigenetics. You know, this is science. The single gene has 30,000 ways that it can express itself. So there is never one best action. There might be thousands of best actions. So we don't know which one is best. We know which one is, is good for now. And then express from there and express from there and express from there. And just make sure that we are you know, driving, that we are the ones creating. And I think that's really the key. It's not if you're doing the best thing. It's if you're moving from a reaction to an outward, you know, from a, a reacting to an outward to an inward responding. So I'm moving from what I'm creating inside of myself, what I'm creating from the inner world, and then, and then pushing that out into the world. And that's a completely different life than what am I going to do with this thing outside of me? Because outside of me, and I'm speaking from experience, doesn't matter. Outside of me is, is a story. Inside of me is what creates the meaning. And like I, you know, I mentioned earlier in the podcast about, you know, running around barefoot. My, the, the, Calluses on my heels were so thick, I could have stepped on a nail. I literally ran around barefoot, you know, playing in the sun. And and I had no idea at the time that our family didn't have money, that we weren't well off, that we weren't this average middle class family. I had no idea about all of the things around me because I created the experience. You know, and in an earlier podcast, I talked to, you know, now I have you know, the degrees behind the education. But 
when it first began, it was just the seeking of, of insight, a seeking of knowledge. And I honestly thought that going to college was going to a destination. I didn't understand the whole infrastructure of what the world made it. So there is not going to be a right, absolute best action that you're going to move towards. You know, the the journey from the beginning where we are now to the actual destination can go a thousand different ways, a million different ways. And it's kind of like a, the reworking of the GPS. Depending on what we do here, we'll go here. And from that, if we do this, we'll go there. And if this and that and that. And it mirrors out into this unimaginable spider web of opportunities. So I think we have to let go of the idea that we can pick the best. That our decision making is going to be clear and that it's going to be absolutely decisive and there will never be a doubt in our mind. I think that that's, you know, one of the things that we can let go of to feel more freedom and more peace because there's a potential for millions, thousands, hundreds of best realities. Oh, Vivian, thank you. That was just beautiful. Thank you. And we also want to thank our audience very much for being here with us today. And if they enjoyed the conversation, we invite them to connect with us by joining our inner circle at www.viviancarrasco.com. And I'll close with a saying from Vivian, remember, move with purpose and take inspired action. Thank you for joining us today here on Turning Inward with Dr. Vivian. If the show moved the needle for you, please leave an honest review in iTunes. And also make sure you cruise on over to VivianCarrasco.com and join us for personal strategies and tips to help you move forward. Ciao, baby.